Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Max Resources Corp, Brett Matic. How are you doing today, Brett? I'm great. How are you, Rich? I'm doing very, very well. Excited to learn more about you and your company today. And I just want to remind everybody that the symbol is MXR on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange, TSXV. Now, I have some questions for you today, Brett, and I want to start off by asking you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Max Resource Corp? Uh, yeah, a little bit about myself. I'm, I'm Australian, as you can hear. Yeah. I've, been in, I've been in Vancouver for the last 10 years. My background, I've headed a number of junior companies. Uh, one of them is a company called Aztec Resources in Australia. It went from a $1 million market cap to a $300 million takeover. Wow. And, and, the, and that's what I look for. I look, I look at um, potential in relation to early stage, but potential for scale. And that's how, we, that's how we got to Columbia. And my involvement with Max Resources was invited to come on and, and look for a project. And my specific uh, focus was in Colombia. The reason in Colombia is the, the largest copper mineral belt in the world, production belt, is the, is the Andes. And the, and the Andes, the northern end of it is Colombia. But it's only the last five or six years that the Colombia has opened up for, inv uh, for mineral exploration investment, and particularly in the area where we are. So the area where we are is it has the largest coal mine in South America, uh, but there hasn't been any copper exploration. And even though there's been a lot of copper there in the past, and the, the movement of the companies now to move out of coal, out of thermal coal, and moving into copper, because with this clean energy, uh, clean energy direction or transition, uh, copper is the main one. I mean, you look at an electric vehicle, four times as much copper was required in an electric vehicle compared to com combustion vehicle. So with this and the clean energy transformation, it's really copper, copper, copper. I agree with you. Copper is in huge demand right now. Brett, can you tell us what are some of the milestones that Max Resource Corp hit this year? And what are some of the catalysts shareholders have to look forward to in 2022? So the milestones we hit this year, we in 2020, we uh, identified a large amount of copper and silver. We got a very high grade going up, plus 30% copper and plus 10 ounces of the ton silver. What the game change or the, what we achieved this year is we're looking at not only copper areas, but areas that have potential volume because it's all about scale. And uh, this year we discovered an area called Uru. Uh, the potential volume is scalable. And that was, that's the game changer uh, until recently. Uh, then we come into mining concessions because the, the, we are now focused on a direct strategy rather than just looking at copper in general in the basin. Now we're concentrating on this particular area called Uru, U-R-U. Brett, can you tell us a little bit about the management team at Max Resource Corp, especially their past success in the public markets? Well, I told you a little bit about my past uh, success. Our country manager is uh, a person named Dr. Chris Granger. He is given us the experience and direction in Colombia. Uh, we, we actually got directed by himself to where we are. He, he, one of the most famous uh, recent takeovers in Colombia was a company called Continental Gold. Uh, it, was take, it was taken over for $1.4 He was one of the head exploration there from the very, very start. Another one that's in there is, uh, is, a, is a copper project that's coming into production. Uh, everyone would probably know here of the person named Robert Friedland. It, it's one of his projects, a, a company called HPX. So he has been really the main driver there. Uh, in relation to getting to where we are. Now, you recently, recently announced the company was granted three key mining concession contracts for a total of four for the URU zone. Can you tell us what this means for the company? Yeah, this is really the, 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 the quantum leap. Now, those four particular mineral concessions, uh, they cover an area of 70 square kilometers, which is huge. 
And wow. it's over Euro, and that's exactly where we are targeting in relation to the volumetric size or scale of this copper. So it's a game changer in that uh, the question's always been asked, look, when are you going to get approved concessions? So we've now ticked that off. And the next question is, when are you going to drill? So this is a game changer. You, you can't do any drilling unless you've got the approved concession. So this is, this is where uh, the, the markets and uh, institutions that we've been dealing with are now come back to us because we're coming now to the serious stage. And what we're going to see moving forward is we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of work. Uh, one of them now is geophysical work. We're now doing what you call a LIDAR, uh, LIDAR, LIDAR survey over nearly 300 square kilometres covering Yeru and the outer areas. And then we uh, expect to be drilling in Q1 of next year. That's very exciting. And if Max Resources Corp were to compare itself to competitors in the mining sector, what would you say sets you guys apart? Well, what, what sets us apart is the two largest copper basin or sedimentary belts in the entire world. One is in, uh, in, is in Poland, the other one's in Africa. And the last major discovery over the last 20 years was by a company called Ivanhoe Mines, and that was in that African belt. We believe that this belt is very, very similar and the type of discovery scale we're looking for is a similar size to Ivanhoe Mines. That's, that's our peer, but that's what we think we, even though early stage, that's what we think we have uh, the early stage or the prospectivity. Brett, here at Rich TV Live, we love to understand the fundamentals of the company. Can you go through the capital structure of Max Resources Corp for our viewers and how you plan on attracting more institutional alongside more retail investors? Okay, so right now we have a, uh, a, a share base or share, 100 million shares issued. We've got a market cap of around 20 million, which is very cheap for where we are at the moment. We already have some institutions. Um, there's a well-known investor named Eric Sprott. Uh, he came in at a price of 24 cents, which is around what we're trading at the moment. Uh, we also have uh, a number of institutions in the US, and in Europe, they're only really dabbled, dabbled in the water at the moment, but now they're coming back to where we think we can grow that institutional base, um, specifically from our milestone of now direction into drilling. Fantastic. If there was one thing you would want investors to know about Max Resource Corp today, what would that be? What you need to know about Max is we have our, we have our website, but to me, the two most important agreements are one, successful management, and number two, in relation to what is being looked for in copper in the world, it has to have scale. And they're the two components we've got is the management and the potential of scale. And because with these copper discoveries that are required, there is no new deposits. So the big boys have to look at early stage and they are not interested unless there's significant upside on scale. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company, Max Resources Corp., if they have any questions? For any questions, you can either go through our website or you can contact us on info at maxresource.com and we, we can send uh, all, the, all the news releases, the background of the company, and then if you want further conversations, uh, we, you can contact, contact us through the website. Fantastic. Now, I must remind everyone, that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Past performance is not always an indication of future results. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in any, anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Please put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. And we love to identify companies first. We've been doing it for a long time, and I believe that we do it really, really well. If you like these videos, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe for future updates. And thank you for joining us, the CEO of Max Resource Corp today, Brett Maddich. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Brett. And thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. This is your boy Rich from Rich to be Live saying, have a nice day, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Look forward to another conversation, Rich.
Yes, we'd love to invite you back again in the future, Brett. If you have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, we'd love to invite you back on the show. And thank you for your time today and continue all your hard work. And we'll be watching very closely. Been a pleasure. Thank you.